Hey guys, so welcome back to Zero Escape Zero Time Dilemma. Let's carry on where we left off. Now, I believe we have explored everything we can with regards to this flow of events. Staring from the initial vote where everyone survived, all I've really got left are the Force Quit Box uh, segments, but I don't know what the answer is to open them, so we're going to have to leave those for now. Looking back at the flow, I don't think there's any more alternate solutions or alternate uh, pathways I could take regarding some of the decisions that we've made, except for this one, of course, but we don't know what Q's name is. So that has to stay a mystery for now. So we go all the way back up here now, I think, with the thumbs up, everyone survived. It's going to turn into a skull and crossbones because one team ain't going to make it. Now, I could go for the low-hanging fruit that is Q team, simply because, you know, I'm not as attached to them as I am with the other team, C team and D team. And it's not to say I don't like Q team. I do like the characters, but like I said, uh, I, do, I don't have that kind of history with them compared to the other two teams. So... Uh, I could go for them first, but I think what we're going to do is take out C-Team first. Just go in a nice, stable order here, from left to right. I uh, I will miss C-Team participating in these events, but uh, unfortunately for them, the road stops here. I only really need to change one of them, right? Which is Q-Team's vote, so let's go ahead and do just that. Alrighty, well, we're just following instructions written on a nice little coaster. Vote for C-Team. It's Diana's fault. She's the one who also votes for C-Team. Here we go. Your vote has been accepted. Thank you. Following the note, huh? I'm guessing this is where those collars come in? it's fine. It's not like it was a bad choice. Now we wait and see what exactly Carlos and Diana do. You can see Mira just, just so nonchalant. Work, and there are two outcomes that could happen. She doesn't feel fear. Either the three and C team die. Or we're the ones executed. No. There's one more possibility. Everyone lives? Yeah. It's a joke. Uh oh. <laughs> Someone is definitely tricking us. So it is you! <laughs> Someone's tricking us. Oh, it's you then! It's like whoever smelt it dealt it, you know? Sleep well, as the next game will begin when you awake. Unfortunately, the team who receives two votes will be unable to participate. Hmm. One final thing. You've gone through with the vote exactly as I commanded. You deserve a reward for obeying. Thank you. The memory loss drug will not be injected into the premium. When you next wake, those who survived will be able to regret the decision they made. As all members of a single team will perish as a result of the vote you entered. Hmm. Pleasant dreams. Thank you. I wonder what uh, everyone else started at. What did you guys start with? Did you start with one team actually dying, or did you split your votes like I did? Curious to know. Let me know. Oh boy, here it is. Sorry, C-Team. Yeah, this is definitely the room, right? Yeah, the infirmary. There's the callers! Akane! Akane! Sorry guys, I really didn't want to do this to you. Hey, what the hell is this? Oh, Junpei's gonna be so upset. <laughs> uh, it's no use! It won't come off! And now for the voting results. The team who received two votes is you, C-Team. <laughs> oh dear. As such, according to the rules, C-Team but did you have to use these collars Screw though? What the this. hell are they? Are they bombs? How could this happen? It's Diana. That bitch betrayed us. <laughs> you reacted exactly as I thought. Oh dear. Damn it! Damn it! There's no way I'm dying here. Please don't. Please. I'm sorry, guys. Damn it, was fire when you need her to translate that. No! Oh, dope. No. Oh, jeez, man, what's wrong with just freaking injecting a drug? Killing him. Why have to blow their heads off, literally? Zero is one fucked up dude. Well, I don't know who's worse, Mira or Zero. Maybe they're one and the same, who knows? But there we go. All sections cleared. Q-Team have explored both options. Now let's see what's going on. Oh. <laughs> That's still locked. There we go. We got some new scenes here. We've got zero meeting with Q. That's interesting. And we got nothing there. That's still a force quit box. Okay. Well, let's explore. 
what happens in this flow. The one and only fl uh, scene, that fragment, I should say, that unlocked. Reality. Oh my. What's that supposed to mean? Are we in a virtual reality simulation? Is this the true huh? path, reality? Why am I the only one here? Hey. Good question. Mira? Uh, Eric? If they're dead, that's five already gone. Now announcing the current casualties. C-Team, Carlos, Akane, Junpei. Q-Team, Eric. Just Eric? D-Team, oh. Diana, Vi, Sigma. These seven are now deceased. <laughs> no! Oh my. The X door has been opened and subsequently closed. Mira's already escaped. <laughs> No, no, that's a lie. The decision game has now been concluded. Thank you for participating. You're welcome. What is? Feels like I didn't even get a chance why to escape. Why are seven people? And why did Mira kill them all, uh, or at least a few of them? Uh, uh, I wonder uh, where this stems from. Q, uh, are you remembering things? There's C Team's demise. That's Mira killing everybody. That's right. So it is this flow. But for some reason, I thought Q died. So I guess Q didn't die? Maybe I'm misremembering things? What was all that? Why did I see C Team? And D team. Yeah, how did you see that? And anyway, why am I even alive right now? I remember being stabbed by a scalp. Exactly, that's why I wrote that off as like the potential starting flow of events. Do you truly wish to know? Yes, please. Zero. What are you still here for? I suggest you come to the quantum computer dome. Quantum computer Everything dome. Will be explained there. Quantum computer dome? Sweet, we're dealing with quantum physics. A lot of it really sails over my head. I wonder if the leaders of the teams can share info between one another. You! You detest me, I suppose? You are welcome to kill me now, if you wish. Oh, thanks. I'll it's gladly do that. easy if you put your mind to it. Just so we can unmask you. I... I... I want to know the truth. Then I'll kill you. Gab oh, well. respects his master zero, it seems. Excuse me. I was replaced. The other Q did die, and I'm a different one. What is this? Your spare bodies. <laughs> My spare... They were prepared in order to support me and my plan. They function mainly as physical labor, plus other additional deeds. So what, they're like Oompa Loompas? Assist you with the game? Huh. <laughs> Drag the bodies out. No. Whoa, those lights. Then... Then I'm... Precisely. You... I don't have a face. ...are not human. I am not human. The consciousness that is <clears throat> you does not reside in that body. Your thought center is there. The quantum computer. Within the quantum computer. Huh. You think, sense, and make decisions in there. You then output the results into commands that are transmitted to your body. And it then moves according to those commands. <laughs> so that's why I didn't die back then. Just got replaced. Indeed. Then me not having any memories. Q for quantum. Clearly you wouldn't, as you've just come into existence. Mm. Only just now. Well, then, what's this? This? I know there's something here. It's warm. 
and it feels like it has a presence. That's the engine, mm. not your heart. I can only assume it's a remnant of the boy you were modeled off of. He struggled with an incurable disease and lost his life at the age of ten. But why was I modeled after this boy? Was he? he was called Sean. Sean. The same name as you. But that's not who I am, is it? Correct. He was simply used as the model to create your personality. Just like Diana oh. was used as the basis for Luna, right? Okay. I see. Then I'm just a program. That's why I got a power button on My your socks. Consciousness isn't inside this body. It's in the quantum computer. What does that matter? Have you considered humans may be the same? Oh. Not all humans retain their consciousness inside their brains. Perhaps they exist in an alternate dimension, and they may be thinking from there. They then send out their results via relays to their brain. <laughs> if this is true, then no contradictions exist within cerebrum physiology. Wow. If the relay breaks, then your body is unable to recognize commands or function properly. Both are actual phenomena that occur. I gotta say, the idea is presented if by the Zero Safe games. We're unable to prove that this theory is not correct. Very fascinating. Um, can I ask you something? What's with the plague, Dr. Al? Why did you give me a personality? Oh, well, that too. If you wanted an assistant, uh, wouldn't a simple robot following commands be enough? Maybe Zero also gets lonely. I... I wanted to see the world as you did. Hmm. The world of that boy. Sean. What? Uh, what do you mean? There will be no more. Now. Hey, wait! We'll speak later. Right now, I have something that I need you to do. Play the game. The decision game. What, not the decision you need Why? me to make? The game's already over. Start again. That is in regards to the others. You are an exception. Oh, I'm doomed to play this forever and ever and ever. What? I shall explain the rules. You can see a button right here. Your choices should be obvious. Press it, or refuse to do so. Mm-hmm. And if I push it? That computer there retains all of the data that makes you uniquely you. Memory, personality, how you think and sense. All of the algorithms that determine your actions are stored inside. If you choose to press the button, all of the data will be duplicated and transferred to a virtual space. Protecting it. It is there that a copy of you will continue to live indefinitely. That world is created to be essentially an exact match to reality. There is no way you realize it is false. The copy of you that is inserted within the space will live a happy life. Upload my data consciousness However, that to a utopia. Within the world of simulation. In the real world, your original self will still be required to stay and exist. The original and copy have no differences. <laughs> the data is exactly the same. It will be duplicated without any discrepancies. But it's just like the transporter, right? It's a duplication. The moment you press the button, your existence splits in two. It's a duplication, not a transfer. One of you will be in the virtual space, while the other remains in reality. Then what happens if I don't want to push it? All data pertaining to you will be deleted. Without a trace. Pretty much die. There are no backups. It will be impossible to recover your data. It's a hard reset, Refusing basically. To press the button then means your existence will be erased 
and you will receive a complete death. Uh, a complete death? Yep. Cease to function. I mean... Your fate has narrowed to three possibilities. Press the button and move to virtual space. Press the button and press stay the here. And stay in the real world. Don't press the button and die. Refuse to press it and welcome complete death. You only get two options, however. To press mm. this button or to refuse. What will you decide? You have ten seconds. Ten seconds, and your future will be forever altered. Goodness me. I... I... I mean, the idea of living in a virtual simulation that's always happy sounds appealing. I know some people would prefer to stay in the real world, but why wouldn't you want to stay in, like, a virtual paradise? Come on, Q, let's push the button. Let's see what happens. We're not ready for a complete death just yet. I can't tell if he's smiling or frowning. Beginning transfer of program. <clears throat> Stop seven to shot the virtual space. Here we go. Gab, stay back, buddy. I don't want you getting fried. Where are we going? We're going somewhere. Jump to here. Let's do it. <laughs> Is this the virtual world? Right, one of our original huh? memories. Oh. Supposedly. Oh my god. <gasps> Sean. You're awake! Where am I? W what am Your surgery was a success! Your illness is completely gone now! Mom? I'm so proud of you, Sean. Dad? What's the matter? You look a little out of it. Are you alright? Oh. Uh. Yeah, and I just I had a vivid I nightmare. A really bad dream. <laughs> anyway, what do you want to eat when you get out? Yeah, we gotta start planning where you want to visit, too. Oh my. Uh, okay. I can have anything I want. Okie dokie. At least we know his name now. Congrats so when we play that other released, son. That other flow. <laughs> Thanks. Food's ready. Make sure to eat up. I made sure to make all of your favorites today. Wow, your meat pie and mashed potatoes, peanut butter, and celery sticks. Everything. Yay! Hey now, don't think that's it. Oh my fizzy drinks. Oh my gosh, the game <laughs> system I always wanted. Who wouldn't want to live in a world like this? All the books I've ever wanted to read. You fought really hard against your illness, so you deserve a reward. Thank you. Dad, Mom, thank you so much. Well, ain't life great? I've overcome my illness, and I'm going to school now. I have a whole bunch of friends, and I can read all the books I want at the library. I need to study super hard to catch up on all the stuff I missed while I was in the hospital. Don't worry, you'll get into Daddy college mom, no matter what, to be honest. They love me all the time. And every day is fun. I gotta be the world's happiest kid. I mean, not even knowing it's a simulation, wouldn't you just love this? Like, reality, gosh, so boring. Just because it's reality doesn't mean we have to stay here. Virtual reality. Happy end, gift. <laughs> well, let's check out what happens if we stay in reality, then. Never knowing that happy life. Stuck here with zero. Are we ever able to uh, leave? Zero? Why are you doing this? Why is it that I'm still on this side? 
in that virtual space, I'm, well, an identical version of me is living out a great, happy life. Mm -hmm. Why, why am I here? I have an old story to tell you. A senior citizen and a boy with an incurable disease met at a hospital. Hmm. The child was always reading books significantly above his level. The majority of his young life was spent confined to a hospital bed. Very interested about this relationship so books here. Were his only friends. The boy Music had a helps. special ability. He was extraordinarily gifted. His ability was highly regarded by his elder. <laughs> so, in exchange for new books every day, the boy would share his academic knowledge. The boy was told that when his disease was cured, he was welcome to a job. However, the disease was never cured. Life was unfair. The path to the child's future closed after a variety of coincidences piled up. The butterfly effect, the boy huh? Just laughed. He never laid blame. He simply, quietly, accepted his fate. He did not despair. Giving up on his life did not mean he gave up on his dreams. Before he died, he shared them with his old friend. And that dream is finally... Wh what are you talking about? Realized? The universe. This quantum computer contains all of the infinite number of realities within space. <laughs> Let's suppose there's someone, somewhere, who can fully operate that program. Play God. Perhaps he'll find that he can traverse the universe. What? Traverse the universe? 61404091. Oh, what are. 61404091. Written. Whoops, no, that's options. <laughs> Back. What are you saying? Be sure you remember that number. Let's make sure, let's double check. 61404091. 61404091. Written. A Not very neatly. Eight numbers. The transporter room. Looks like we can share it amongst. No way! Our fellow leaders. Oh. So it also opens the helmet? Oh my gosh. What's our face like? No. Are we like a golem? No! Terminator face? Oh no! Gosh! Well, that's something. <laughs> I can imagine Eric shitting his pants if he ever saw that. Game over. Here we go. This time, we don't press the button whatsoever. What's going to happen? I'm ready to accept complete death. Is this what you wanted, Zero? Or are you just playing with your universe making machine? So, he didn't know what to do with his cane there for a second. It's fine. I just want you to end it. I don't even have a head, okay? Just... I see. Just terminate me. Then, farewell. Oh, jeez. Well, that would explain why there's no blood that comes out. <clears throat> When we uh, get shot or stabbed. Deletion complete. Oh, Gab. 
came over. That was simple, easy, straightforward. All sections cleared. All right, now we've fully explored this branch where Mira killed everybody. Including uh, the entirety of <laughs> D-Team. So now, I wonder, do we have the number to open the door of truth? Let's find out. Eight numbers. Six, one, four, zero, four, zero, nine, one. Damn it! I suppose it's a little bit of a tidy up. We should see what uh, the initial reactions for these guys are when they encounter the force quit box. So let's start with Q team. Force quit Q. This is after we survive the uh, decom rooms, right? Decontamination rooms. The current casualties. Presently, there are. <laughs> Please continue enjoying the decision game. <laughs> Thank you so much. They're just messing with us. Well, this is good though. Now we know no one's died so far. Yeah, so because you far, haven't had a knife you in your make hand. It sound like somebody will die at some point. Isn't that obvious? We're all human. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> There's no way I'm dying of old age here. Oh, hey, at but least you'll be with Mira forever. The vote at 1330 went really well. Sounds like everyone spread the votes out. Wait, forget that for now. Look at your bracelets. Midnight. Zero, 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 three? Not exactly a happy new year kind of mood, is it? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to be happy about. Good guess, you psychopath. There is. <laughs> the death count is zero. That's plenty to be happy over. Hmm. Seeing the bright side there, Eric. That being well done. said, how about a celebratory shot? <sighs> Do you need to rub it in? Would you really drink oh, anything in this that's right. locale? You're still a minor. <sighs> that's not what I meant at all. Uh, his head. <laughs> yeah. He's got a giant metal it's orb on his head, remember? Oh, that too. Oh, that thing. Well, don't you have some sort of mouth part to open? No. Of course I don't. If it opened, it would have done that a long... It's open. Huh? The force Look, quit box. The box. The force quit box. <sighs> Let's check it out. Here we go. Uh, why is it open? And what's up with this weird device? Huh, something's displayed on the monitor here. It says to execute the force quit program. The central control computer must be booted. Central control computer? What if... Maybe it's... Hey! Where are you going? <laughs> the quantum uh... computer? There we go. Run, run, run! Gab, not following? Here we are. Zero's not here this time. But it goes to zero. Are we? That zero is on location. The map says we're in the quantum computer dome. The computers in here govern all the functions that run within the shelter. Why do you know that? <laughs> I can't really tell you why, because I don't know. What? Yeah. Anyway, it's not exactly an answer I'd like to buy. When they say central control computer. So, what about that thing? Maybe this Wait, is where I put the numbers in. I feel like I'm remembering something. Huh. Luckily we ran into this fragment then. I know. Know what? The way you start up the system. First, we need to get the cover off. There's no way we can insert the plug if we don't. The plug? Please, plug? just shh. Okay. Huh, I think... The number is... What is that number, Q? Let's rock and roll. One, four, zero, four, zero, nine, one. Shitting me. <laughs> That's only the code for my helmet. Ah! What was it? Uh... 
Come on. <laughs> Sorry, I just thought I remembered it. Right, well, seems to be it's only for his helmet, so let's move on to the last voice quit box and see what these guys come up with. <sighs> Hello? Good morning, literally. Now announcing the current casualties. Presently, there are... None. Hmm. Please continue enjoying the decision game. That little smile on everyone's faces. Hey, excuse me, but uh, could we maybe call a cab? <laughs> we have a lost child here. <laughs> Who are you or Q. About? Well, best to get her home soon. The mother <laughs> must be worried. And you know better than anyone <laughs> that I don't have one. Oh, that's harsh. Good God, Sigma. Zero, 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 three? <sighs> We're in the new year now? Yep. So it's no longer 2028, but... January 1st, 2029. The year Our of the Radical Six outbreak. After we voted at 1330. <sighs> now we're stuck with a 10-hour blank gap. But were we really asleep that whole time? <laughs> We might have woken up several times since then, but we've only forgotten about it. Because of the drugs. Huh. Hey look, the box. Box? The box the is open. Quit box. <sighs> okay. That sprint by Fi though. Why is it open? No idea. There's text displayed on the monitor. Force quit program on standby. Hmm. To initiate, two key items must be set. <laughs> How about that? Wait, I think there's more to the message. Each really? is a mother's memento. Right. A mother's memento? Maybe that, Diana, uh... does any of that ring a bell for you? That hairpin of yours? <gasps> no! Uh, hey! Diana? Diana, what's wrong? What's wrong? My head! She seems to have very My vivid head. flashbacks and flash sideways, right? Compared to the others? That can't be! What is it? Did you remember something? But... If that's true... Definitely Fi's one. The key items we need to insert are... Do we give it a shot? Alright, they seem to be shaped exactly like... what they are. Approach. Pendant? Nope. Hair pin. Couldn't work it out. Huh. I, I wonder why I... Had that What's moment? What's the matter? I thought I remembered. But then it slipped through my fingers. Dang it. Uh, I can't believe it. Wait. I know I can get it. Let me try again. Let me just really concentrate. Don't distract me. Come on, Diana. What is it? <laughs> 